Hampshire made nothing more than steady progress on the second day of their LV County Championship match at Wantage Road against the second division leaders Northamptonshire, for whom Trent Copeland again impressed with the ball. Day one was washed out completely, making this a three-day contest. Alex Wakeley inserted after winning the toss and was rewarded with the game's fourth ball, as David Willey had Jimmy Adams caught behind for a second ball duck. It was an outstanding take by David Murphy behind, which is certainly worth seeing a second time. Hampshire really struggled to get the ball off the square for much of the second morning. Michael Carberry stuck it out for 13 overs for his 10 before he edged Copeland to David Sales in the slips. Indeed, only 35 runs were scored off the first 27 overs. Such was the tightness of the North Hants attack, which was then congratulated with the wicket of James Vince, who, much to his astonishment, was given out LBW to Copeland shortly after lunch. Hardly a shot had been played in anger up to this point, but thankfully some boundaries started to be scored in the afternoon after Sean Irvin joined Liam Dawson. These two simply had to pick up the pace in a game where the best either side may get is bonus points after the first day was lost. The surface was one on which scoring runs with ease was not really possible, but for the most part, the home bowlers had put the ball in the right areas. Yeah, once these two batsmen joined forces, 45 runs were added in 11 overs, with Andrew Hall being struck for the occasional boundary. Hampshire still couldn't get away from their hosts, however, and having made a sprightly 26, Irvin became Copeland's latest LBW victim. That was the Australian's 26th wicket of a very impressive season. He was made to wait for his 27th by the fit again Adam Wheater, who shone like a beacon after he came out, clipping the eighth ball he faced for six. He and Dawson then continued to light the game up a bit, which was needed as the skies were darkening, which meant that the players did spend part of the afternoon back in the dressing rooms. Wheater's introduction was just what the game had needed, for up until this point, it had been rather turgid. Wheater took on the Northamptonshire debutante, Azza Ulla, who was in for the rested Stephen Crook, hitting him for that four before pulling him for a maximum, as 14 runs came off the 50th over, to increase the run rate up to two and a half runs per over. More bad light then intervened, but the players did return again and Dawson was able to go on to complete a patient 50, which had occupied 165 deliveries. This was his eighth four, which at least showed that he had been able to score amongst many solid defensive shots and leaves. It was a rather important innings too, given all that had gone on around him. But he then lost Wheater at the other end. Having made a very bright 40 from just 54 deliveries, he gave Copeland yet another wicket in his penultimate championship match before he returns home, as he got one through a big heave to bowl the batsman to end a fifth wicket partnership on 63. That left the visitors on 143 for five, and only six more runs were added before the annoying weather had the final say. So at the halfway stage of this match, Hampshire have made 149 for five from 61 overs, with Dawson still there, having batted for exactly four hours for his undefeated 57.